recounting an Uber ride that was a scary one for the driver behind the wheel. She says a smell in her car that began after she picked up passengers left her feeling very strange. I started calling my husband, and I mean, it took me four tries because I couldn't remember his number. I couldn't remember his number, I couldn't remember the name, I couldn't remember anything. That Jacksonville woman says she actually almost passed out because of the smell in her car, and she believes the three men she picked up for that Uber ride were trying to drug her. She picked up the men Saturday evening at a restaurant in the Oakleaf Village area off Argyle Forest Boulevard in Jacksonville. She says they made their way down Argyle Forest, and the final destination was on Wells Road in Orange Park. Channel 4's Heather Lee joining us live, and Heather, you spoke with this driver, right? I did, Kent. She said she did not want to be identified, but she said that when all this was going on, she was driving, and she said she had all four of her windows up. She had the air conditioning on full blast, and when she started smelling that smell uh, filtering through the air, it got so overwhelming that she decided to roll her window down so she could get some fresh air, and she says while the smell started to go away, her condition remained the same. This Uber driver is taking a break from the driving business. I was shaking, I was crying, and then as soon as I got home and I got him awake, I went ahead and called Clay County Sheriff's Office. The driver, who did not want to be identified, says she picked three guys up Saturday night from a restaurant in Duval County. She says not long into the ride, she began to smell a strong odor. At the same time, she started to feel strange. My whole body went numb. There was a real strong smell in the car, and it went in my nose and through my throat and made my whole head and my whole body numb. She began to panic. She rolled her window down in hopes the smell would go away. All the while, she tried to keep a calm demeanor. That's when the passenger told her his friend in the back seat had opened a flask full of apple-flavored Crown Royal. I was like, y'all need to close it now. The smell is really strong, and it's making me really dizzy. They said, okay, okay, we'll close it. We won't open it again. She eventually got the guys to their final location in Clay County. She told me the reason she didn't stop sooner was because she didn't want to give them any opportunity to take advantage of her. She says other drivers need to be vigilant. If you're a female driver, deny them. Deny the ride, especially if it's, you know, midnight and you get three guys that are getting into your car, deny it. And I, and I really should have. I should have denied that ride. I shouldn't have even tried to attempt to have all those guys in my car. I have a feeling that if I didn't do what I did, or if I'm not doing this now, the next Uber driver they get is not going to be so lucky. Now, she says when she got home, she did reach out to the Clay County Sheriff's Office to file a, a report, and they did file that report. They took down all of the information, but they say because this incident happened in Duval County, that JSO really would be the responding agency. So she said she reached out to JSO, and they said that they would not be able to do much because of lack of verification. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station. So, Heather, beyond police trying to identify these passengers, isn't there some sort of record of these guys with Uber? You know, there is. Uh, again, she can't see much more than their first name, she said, but she did reach out to Uber to let them know exactly what had happened to her and that they really needed to look into this. They responded back and they said, absolutely, we will look into this and we will try to fix this situation. But she really would like to see more information provided to drivers on the people that they're picking up because of how scary this incident was for her. It certainly was for Heather Lee reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Heather.